This song is just a smorgasbord of sounds and genres. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Molly and in this video I am going to be listening to the album Science from the rock band Incubus. Now this is Incubus' second album. They released this one in 1997 and I kind of wanted to start with Incubus' first album and kind of work my way through their discography, but you all kept recommending Science a lot. I would say it's by far the most requested Incubus album that I've gotten in the comments. So I kind of wanted to start with this one and just see what all the hype is about. So yeah, I'm just really intrigued to hear this one. So let's dive right on into my reaction to Science by Incubus. All right, so up first on Science, we have track one called Redefine. Fine. Very nice start to this one. That bass right off the bat is awesome, and it kind of sounded like a didgeridoo at the very beginning. I'm liking all of the DJ effects too, like the turntable sounds. Adds a nice little hip hop quality to this album. These percussive effects are pretty cool. There's just like a really hyper kind of manic sound to this song. Like it's very speedy. That part right there weirdly reminded me of Tool, where he said redefine and it was all echoey and atmospheric. Well, that was track one, Redefine. I really enjoyed that. That was a really fun song to get this album started. It had a great flow to it. It was very relaxed and loose, but it was kind of crazy and really energetic at the same time. Kind of a nice springiness to it with that hip hop groove and everything and with the turntable effects. I liked that element to it. So I'm gonna move on to track two called Vitamin. I'm Again, at the start there, we kind of had almost an electronic element to it. This part of this track is actually reminding me of Nine Inch Nails a little bit. There's a track by Nine Inch Nails called Dear World on their Not The Actual Event CP that weirdly reminds me of this song on the verses. There's so many sounds going on. That was track two, Vitamin. That one just had me grinning from ear to ear the whole time. That was such a fun track to listen to. Just all the variety of sounds they were playing around with on that one was fantastic. I loved how the verses were really pulled in and they kind of had like a little bit of a creepy tone to them. They were more restrained and then they brought that rock sound to the chorus. It had a little bit more punchiness on the chorus. All right, moving on to track three, we have New Skin. They're somehow fusing such aggressive punchiness with really relaxed, loose sounding instrumentation too. I don't even know what that noise is. Some sort of scratch effect on a turntable maybe? Everything humans could touch, smell, see, and hear. Now it's changed. There's like that boingy, springy sounding effect in the background. 
That was track three, New Skin. Again, a fascinating song to listen to in terms of all of the sounds going on. There's so much variety on this album so far. It's just freshening it up. It's taking like a traditional rock album, but it's making it something more than that. But I'm gonna move on now to track four called Idiot Box. This one's definitely a little bit different. It's a little bit slower tempo. You see what they do? They have like those really cool electronic sounds and kind of that beatboxing sound a little bit. And then the rock elements come in and it's like a punch. It just brings all this energy. That was track four, Idiot Box. Definitely a little bit more slowed down, a little bit more languid with its sound. It still had that great relaxed quality to it. There's almost like a borderline reggae sound to this album. It just has such a, like a laid back sound to it, just very loose and relaxed, but then they're infusing that rock too. It's a really, really cool mashup. Okay, moving on to track five, we have Glass. This is certainly a fun start. Definitely a strong electronic tone to it. This track just sounds really interesting. Like the things it's kind of doing in my headphones is really cool. Yeah, this track is keeping me on my toes. I love how they were just alternating between that super aggressive sounding part and then it would go back to that bouncy electronic part. That was track five, Glass. That one was crazy. I loved the really dramatic dynamics going on with that one. Super intense and then super funky and groovy. But up next is track six called Magic Medicine. On this page, you see a little girl giggling at a hippopotamus. This album is so much fun. I don't know what to expect on any of these tracks. Is it I don't know what these lyrics are. It almost sounds like a woman reciting like a nursery rhyme or something out of a children's book. Worked. That was a strange little track. That was track six, Magic Medicine. It kind of was like an interlude, I would say. It just maintained the same sound throughout the whole thing. I loved it from an instrumental point of view, though. Just it sounded really cool. I liked the percussive elements on that one. All right, moving on to track seven now, we have A Certain Shade of Green. <laughs> Yeah, and those awesome guitars are back with this one. Just bringing that great intensity to the sound. The bass is really shining on this one. Again, it just has an amazing springiness to its sound. That was track seven, A Certain Shade of Green. I think maybe that is the most like rock heavy song on this album so far, I would say. It had a really great aggressiveness, like a punchiness to its delivery, but they still had all of those crazy fusions of sounds going on too. And the bass on that one was just really funky. Moving on now to track eight, we have Favorite Things. Favorite 
It almost sounded like some stringed instruments faintly in the background there for a minute. It kind of gave it this really grand theatrical tone. Well, that was track eight, Favorite Things. Again, such a speediness, like a really quick tempo to that one. It's almost like a shot of adrenaline or caffeine, this whole album. It just has this great quickness to it. They were just fusing all of these like subtle little things in the background. There's so many elements that they're putting on this album. All right, moving on to track nine, we have Summer Romance, Anti-Gravity Love Song. Right, really groovy start to this one. I'm home alone tonight. When we get there, we're gonna fly so far. Man, this song is really cool. It's got a great jazz quality to it. Yeah, I don't even think this is rock, really. It's just like an experimental fusion. That was track nine, Summer Romance, Anti-Gravity Love Song. A great fusion of kind of a fun, playful, upbeat quality and also a really relaxing quality to that one too and I really liked how jazzy it was especially with the infusion of that saxophone later on but moving on now to track 10 we have Nebula that like electronic tone they keep using is interesting Okay, this one really reminds me of Angel Dust by Fates No More, or even like Mr. Bungle. This one's crazy. The vocals on this quiet part here have like this electronic distortion to them. Well, that was track 10, Nebula. That was an insane one. Just a crazy dynamics with the sound yet again. I loved how aggressive and again, like manic his vocals sounded at parts. And then it would get really quiet and it almost sounded like there was some electronic distortion to the vocals and they just kept going back and forth between that. But moving on now to track 11, we have Deep Inside. All right, we're back with kind of that jazzy bit of reggae quality to this one. It's three o'clock. This chorus, it just comes out of nowhere. And then just like that, it goes right back to this really relaxed sound. <laughs> Man, this track just got really heavy all of a sudden. The fuck are we? That was track 11, Deep Inside. I actually really enjoyed that one. It was super funky sounding, very relaxed, laid back, but then when the chorus came in, just it brought so much intensity to it. It was very unexpected, but it worked really well. But up next we have track 12. I'm not sure how to pronounce this one. It might be a play on Cologne maybe, or Calgone. <laughs> not 100% on the pronunciation, but yeah, let's see what this one's gonna sound like. Sounds like some laser beams going off here. Yeah, 
Yeah, again, this track just has a great speediness to it. I love when it gets a little bit quieter here at this part and you can really hear that percussion. This one's got a really great futuristic tone to it with all this electronic stuff going on. Then it's like an engine just revving up and then this really manic part comes in. That was track 12, Cologne, I'll call it, if that's the right pronunciation. Just again, absolute insanity. I loved it. That part where it was kind of restrained and then you it just started building up and you knew something really big was coming with its sound and then it just delivered on that awesome punchiness and aggressiveness. It was just awesome. And then it kind of ended a little bit weird. It sounded like a conversation between the band members there at the end. All right, moving on to track 13, the last song on science, we have Segway 1. There's a comminuted depressed left parietal skull fracture with adjacent extensive left subdural hematoma. Sounds like a doctor reading off a medical report of a patient. <laughs> There's almost like a muffled quality here to these instrumentals. Man, there's a great heaviness to this one. This song is just a smorgasbord of sounds and genres. Hey, you better check it, check yourself before you wreck it, wreck yourself. It almost reminds me of just a band freestyling, and then they've added on all of these random people talking throughout the song. was a cool transition it just went from that bass and now we've got i think this is like acoustic guitar it sounds like the karate kid i hate this bike i hate it i hate it oh, what are you doing to your bike i just don't know what to expect at this point you break it down Well, that was certainly a crazy way to end this album. That was track 13, Segway 1. I feel like that 10 minute song alone was just like a sampler of everything across the rest of this album. There were so many sounds that they poured onto that track. It kind of just sounded like them having a bunch of fun, doing some freestyling, just playing around with all of their sound effects and instrumentation. Well, that concludes my reaction to Science, the second studio album from the band Incubus. I have have no idea what genre this album was. At times it was definitely rock. At other points I would say it was a jazz album. Just such a great groovy laid back quality to it. But then a lot of experimentation going on too with the electronic effects and the turntables and everything. I would say right now though with just one listen to this album I really liked the track Cologne actually track 12. How it just went back and forth so much with the dynamics on that one and how it kind of built up and then the chorus just hit with all of that intensity. I also really liked the opening track, Redefined. That one had a great grooviness to it, kind of a hip-hop quality to its sound. And I think right now my favorite one is track two, Vitamin. That one was great in how it was really like pulled in and restrained, but then again, they brought that heaviness at certain parts on that track. I'm really looking forward to going back and re-listening to this album, diving more into the lyrics, and definitely checking out more from Incubus. They certainly seem like a pretty pretty intriguing band for me to dive into their discography further. But yeah, as usual, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.